Hello everybody, I'm back with the second video. This one is similar to my last one, but it's uh, more specifically about one particular methodology, if you want to call it that, for actually getting ready for the semester and everything that we're going to be doing as students. And this one is focused on the lectures, and I just want to share this workflow integration automation thingamajig that I was able to, I guess, create alongside a tutorial that is freely available for each and every one of us. Um, but just in summary, I was able to just find some basic lecture online that um, even though it's one, this one's like eight minutes, I did this just for practice. In reality, our lectures are going to be a bit longer. Um, but regardless, this kind of just shows the principle of I'm able to take the audio file, uh, which I was able to extract here, and upload that into my Google Drive. Then the automation is triggered, and I'm able to get this as the output. On my Notion page, I can have a summary. The full, <clears throat> excuse me, the full transcription, which is pretty long, and then additional information including the main points, action items, follow-up questions, etc. And I can tailor this to churn out any information <laughs> that I want based on the transcript. Um, so, uh, just to give a quick overall run through of what I actually did, um, everything was based on a, a YouTube video, which I'll show on the screen right now. Um, but pretty much what I do is I trigger the whole automation by uploading the audio file to either Google Drive or Dropbox, as you can see here. And then what happens next is the file is downloaded, which takes some time, but not too much time because everything here you can see was done in about 82,000 milliseconds. So what is that, um, 800 seconds? I don't know, you do the math, 80, 80 seconds? <laughs> Something along the, those lines. Um, and so yeah, the, the file is downloaded, and then ChatGPT actually creates the transcription, which I think was what takes the most time. You can see the full transcription there. And then based on certain prompts that I have pre-programmed to ask that transcription, uh, the chat feature goes into play. That's what kicks out the action items, the main points, the follow-up questions, etc. And I can tailor those based on whatever needs we have. I can have it create closed deletion Anki cards if I really wanted to. Um, I think, I mean, I haven't, I haven't really played around with this too much, but I'm assuming it's in the realm of possibility. Uh, then everything is just formatted for the actual Notion page. Uh, the page is created from my database in the Notion page itself, and that's pretty much it. So I was able to do this for, let's see how much, 59 cents for eight minutes, which is, I mean, not even a penny, or, or no, it's, <laughs> which is not even a dollar. I mean, yeah, it does add up, if you want to count all the lectures that we have in every single day of the next four years. But uh, regardless, this is something that's interesting to me. I don't know how useful this is going to be. And I'm not here to say that this is going to be something I'm using every single day. But um, yeah, technology is interesting. And I think applying this to our lives as incoming medical students is worth at least considering. So if you have any friends that are medical students, then Feel free to share this video with them. I can help them get this set up and integrated. Um, I'll link the video that I followed. It's literally just clicking on one link. Uh, actually, no, wait, I'll just show that right now. Okay, so this is the video I watched to follow along. And it's actually very simple to do. Now that you can go click on the second link in the description, you scroll down to either the no code method or the code method doesn't really matter which one you choose, at least for the most part from my experience. And you literally just click on this one link and it'll set you up in, uh, what is this one called? This is Pipe Dream. I have no experience using Pipe Dream, but now I have all these different workflows. I can do Google Drive or my um, Dropbox. And yeah, I mean, this is only gonna get crazier and crazier. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, or thoughts about this. I'm happy to help set this up in the Discord or just unravel our thoughts. <laughs> All right, bye.